Let's see what's going on, Holy Spirit. Somebody feels like there's nobody better for you but them. <laughs> yeah, we have gift and we have distant horizon. First two cards out. So there's some type of offer, okay, that somebody wants to give you that's at a distance. This could be somebody you in separation from or you separated your energy from. Somebody is just like, there's somebody that wants to bring you a gift or some type of offer or opportunity. That it's like, and this could be, it don't have to be romantic. This could be a job, taking her a resting. Somebody is trying to say like, you know, if this is a job, like I can offer you more money than this job. You know, this job, this job don't, don't see your whole potential. I can offer you way more. You, it's like a fight between like, I'm getting like, so, uh, <laughs> It's like you in the middle of sun season. It's two two people or two opportunities that's like trying to fight for one person. Marriage and child. A pathway. It's something about your innocence. Somebody feels like I can, you know, I can do everything better. Sunny wealth, mature woman, great, great fortune, wealthy man, journey. I'm telling you. Somebody is saying, like, I can offer you more. Sudden wealth, great fortune, journey. Whatever journey that you're going on, it's, it's a battle. Okay? Somebody don't want you to go on this journey. Somebody doesn't want you to get far away. Okay? I feel like whoever you are, you mature enough to make your own decisions. You're wise enough. Okay? On this journey, there's a wealthy man that matches, like, that's perfect for you, that matches your energy. Okay, courthouse cool and message. You could be divorcing someone or separating from someone. House and message of concern. You could be realizing that somebody is only after you for your stability. The house could also be your temple, your body. Maybe you you know you holding back from this person. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm. Yeah, listen to your intuitive feelings and past life issue. So whoever this person that you share past life with, spirit is saying, listen to your intuition. Okay. It's like somebody don't want to let you go. Somebody is just claiming you. Somebody, somebody could literally be crying. So I see, you could definitely um, be ascending at this time. Entering a new phase in your life. Moving on. And whoever this person is, somebody feels like they own you. Somebody feels like nobody can have you but them. Okay. Nobody can have you but them. Nobody is worthy enough for you but them. Like, what's going on? But Spirit is saying, we booted somebody out because we got wealthy men in journey. There's a wealthy man, okay, that's going to be on a journey. Whatever the journey is with this distant horizon, whatever path that you're taking, whatever you're headed to, there's a wealthy man that's here waiting for you. Great fortune and sudden wealth. It's like your your spirit team is saying we have better. Close whatever that cycle is out, close it out. But somebody energetically, they feel like you belong to them. They feel like nobody is good enough for you but them. Nobody. Ooh, sure. Holy Spirit, give me one this energy. Please and thank you. Yeah, we have balance and fear. Somebody could be afraid that things about to be balanced out in your life. Things about to be made fear. Yeah, adversity. Ascended masters. I feel like whoever that person you share past life with, you had dealt with a lot of challenges and adversity with this person. Somebody just... Somebody was making it something so hard. And I feel like with the distant horizon, I feel like you pulled your energy back, Sunseeds. 
three and six break it down to a nine. <clears throat> yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like you released them. Or there's a cycle, or there's a cycle that with the three and six breaking down to a nine, there's a cycle that needs to be completely closed out before you enter a new phase of your life. Because your, because your, your your spirit team is preparing you for a union, and whatever this union is, it's gonna be you're gonna meet a wealthy man on this journey. That you're gonna with sudden wealth and great fortune that you're gonna create a legacy with. Yeah, I don't um I feel like whoever this person is, I, there's something that needs to be finished out with this person from your past. Okay, because this completion will unlock the next phase for you. Whatever this new journey is, um, is definitely being prepared for you, Spirit is saying. Okay, and I feel like whoever this person is, it's like they know you wrapping up loose ends with them. And But some of you guys, you might not even be in communication with this person, but energetically, they know that something is wrapping up. There was a lot. For a lot of you guys, you could have lost a part of you dealing with this person. Maybe you went through some type of trauma with this person from your past where you had to heal. Okay? Well, ascended masses being here. Okay? Um, I feel like you definitely ascending. Yeah. You learned a lot from whatever these obstacles that you was facing through this adversity. It says ascended masses, powerful, loving, wise spiritual teachers are watching and over you and guiding you. Yeah, there's something else that's about to come in. So anything from your past, Spirit is saying, wrap that cycle up, okay? Wrap that cycle up because there's a new phase that you're about to enter into, and it's going to be a gift. This gift is going to be a, a, a brand new opportunity. And for the ones who are not in communication with the person from your past, somebody knows that energetically something is wrapping up. Okay, they know that. Maybe this person didn't take you serious. Maybe they didn't mean it to win. Somebody didn't. Somebody thought you would come back. Somebody cannot believe that it's over. Somebody feels like nobody is good enough for them but you. This could have been somebody who always leaned on you. Okay, it's like this person has nobody now. Now that you're gone. And somebody is, is really feeling like nobody is good enough for you, but them. But they 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 cause you so much challenges in your life. Whew. Yeah, spirit is saying trust. Like, um, give me more Holy Spirit. I feel like you about to meet your your your, your perfect person. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody else is holding on to you energetically. <clears throat> and and that, whatever that phase is, Spirit is saying it's wrapping up. It's, it's, it's completion. Yeah, gratitude. Give thanks. Mm -hmm. Something about your third eye. I feel like you have this divine connection with swords. Mm -hmm. You have a, a very... The um special divine connection with source or ascended masters and this gratitude give thanks because you are getting help you're getting a lot of help you know when it comes to the spiritual woman at this time it says i am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents be very thankful give a lot of thanks because because your ancestors your ascended masters your spirit guides the most high they are all helping and assisting you on this new path because something is about to come in for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. I also feel like with this purple, like I said, it's a divine connection. Also with this green, it's giving me um love. Okay? You're about to come into union with someone. Someone that, you know, your spirit team wants you with. Okay? This also could be self-love. 
okay? And it's also uh, with this green, it could just govern, you know, around relationship. There's a relationship that you're going into union with. Acceptance. Okay, I'm learning to accept things that I cannot change. So whatever happened between you and this person, you are learning to accept, you know, it is it is what it is. You can't change it. It happened, you know, and you're closing out the cycle. You're moving on. And because you're doing that, you're being gifted by the divine with a new opportunity. For a lot of you guys, it's a new lover. Okay. Mm. Let's pull for the tarot. Yeah, the death card. Something is um something is changing. You letting go of something. The death card speaks about endings and changes. Hmm. Ten of Swords. Something is over with. Whatever this betrayal was, whatever this adversity was that caused you, and this is from a whole other deck. But I'm I'm using this deck. The the um the there's an ending to a betrayal, okay? You're letting go whoever this person is that betrayed you, okay? There's a death in rebirth here. There's something new that's coming in for you with the three of wands. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 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 I feel like whatever this growth is. Whatever you have to look look forward to, just because you're being noticed by the divine for all the hard work that you have put in. Hermit. Okay? Somebody could be looking into something, investigating something. Okay? And they could have found out something and they could be in regret with the five of cups, six of wands, because they know you're going to get some type of success or victory. <coughs> You about to see the like whatever hard work you've been putting in. You about to see the results, so see. Mhm. Mm you 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 about to see the, the the results. Get ready for progress and growth. Okay. When it comes to your relationship, something is about to take off. It's about to be a lot of growth. Also, a lot of financial gain with that gift, and it's going to bring you in a lot of success and abundance. And I feel like whoever this hermit is, let me get some water, Sussie. Give me one second, because my throat is just itchy. <clears throat> it's like now somebody is reminiscing about the little things about you. Mm hmm The little things about you, like even if the way how you used to wear your hair, the way you used to dress, the way you used to talk, how you used to smell, it's like somebody's reminiscing about all of that. And they took that for, uh, you know, they took that for granted. And, and now they regret with the Five of Cups, whoever this person is. Okay? Lieutenant Swords to the Death Card, there, there's an ending. Okay? You release someone who betrayed you. And now you can look forward to a beautiful new beginning. That's what I'm saying with this three and six, bring it down to a nine. It, it speaks about um, it speaks about release. It also speaks about closing up, a, um, you know, a, um, a cycle, you know, for a new beginning. And I'm, I'm picking up on someone who have who, who confirmation. Someone who's in the process of ascending right now. Okay, your hard work. All of that is about to pay off, okay? All of that is about to pay off. And I feel like you have a lot of confidence at this time with this growth that's coming in for you. You can look you can you can look forward to all your hard works and your efforts and everything paying off when it comes to work, when it comes to your love life, okay? But somebody else is in regret about it. Okay. They regret about this ending because they know that you're releasing them and they know that you're letting go. I 
I feel like with the nine of wands, it's that added. Cause I just see, I did see the nine of wands under this deck before I shuffle. I feel like no matter what you was up against with the adversity, you still had the willpower to persevere. You still decided that you was gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, give me messages on adversity, please and thank you. Adversity. It's like somebody is looking into something, trying to investigate. Like, is you going to come back? Mm-hmm. They're trying to look into your... I heard look into your life. Wow. <clears throat> What's the adversity, Holy Spirit? Adversity? Adversity, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, the chariot. I can't make it up. This is you moving forward. You have the willpower, the self-discipline to persevere through this adversity. And some type of success is coming in for you. A big offer. Yes, the death cards. Ooh, that ooh, child. The death card to the devil card. Scorpio Capricorn. Energy, cancer, energy. Whew. Whoever that person was, um, they didn't, they was not, they don't, they did not want something to end, okay? They don't want this change to happen, but it already happened. <clears throat> Somebody was hurt, hoping that you didn't persevere, hoping that um, you wouldn't let them go. Somebody was expecting you to return by now. Ooh, child. Give me more Holy Spirit, adversity, the chariot. Yeah, page of wands. <laughs> you can expect great news. Okay? You can expect great news moving forward. Of course. Look at you, Empress. <laughs> of course, Empress. Yes. Remember say get gratitude. While you're watching this video, get gra gratitude. Okay? I am thankful for this life and the opportunity that is presented to me. Okay? Because you was able to close out a cycle and, and, and wrap up any loose ends that you had from the past, there's a gift that's being granted to you. I feel like you've been through a lot of sun seeds, but you had the willpower, um, the strength card not out here, but you had the willpower and the strength, the self-discipline to persevere through all of these things. And with the help of your ascended masters, somebody have ascended, okay? Somebody is an ascended master, okay? Somebody have ascended. Nine of Wands to the Moon card. Yeah, the Moon card to the Nine of Wands. Somebody wanted to, like, keep you in some type of illusion and think that, you know, because you was battered and you was abused, that you wouldn't be able to persevere. You wouldn't be able to go nowhere, you know. Um, you, no, 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 no. Somebody, nah. Mm -mm. Somebody wanted to hide. They, they, they wanted to, they wanted to hide, a, hide behind a big ass illusion and hoping that you would buy it. No, you didn't buy it. Nah, whatever they were selling, you ain't want it. The death to the devil, you ain't. Nah, you was good off of that. You did not want it. You did not want whatever illusion that they were selling. And now they're mad because you're moving forward and you're getting something way better. And this person got the nerve to be sitting up here feeling like they could love you better, treat you better, provide for you better, take like how? How? How can they do it now when they couldn't do it before? Now somebody is all on their feelings. Now somebody is all on their feelings, hoping and wishing that they could get a retake and do it all over. Mm. Wow. The world card to the hermit. <laughs> you see something. You seen something. And that's why whatever you're sending masters, whatever the divine is showing you, or what, whatever they showed you, there's a cycle being closed out. Mm -hmm. High priestess. Yo. There's the completion of a cycle. 
And I feel like you had to go with, you know, within yourself. Go deep, go deep within yourself. You know, that inner guidance, that inner voice. You had to, you had to follow it. You had to listen to it. And that's why you was able to close out this cycle. High Priestess to the High Friend, Six of Wands. For some of you guys, you about to go into union with your divine counterpart. And this will be a twin. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that the divine put you together. High Priestess to the High Friend to the Six of Wands. Those are counterparts. Okay, this is a very spiritual co connection. Okay. That's going to be very successful. Queen of Wands to the Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's a hell to the yes. Okay, you're about to receive some type of breakthrough. Okay. I love this for you guys. I see so very much. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're very confident in this new phase of your life. After receiving the truth and clarity, you know, there's some type of breakthrough for you. Because you're confident. Okay. Whatever truth that was prevented to I mean presented to you, you're confident about it now. Yeah. Crack the deck on high priestess injustice. You're about to get karmic justice. For any injustice that was done to you before, you about to get yeah. <clears throat> something could happen to you that was very devastating. You know, someone could have literally whoever that person was. They was trying to fight their hardest to keep you stuck in the cycle, okay? The death card to the devil card, that's somebody that, um, you know, you're letting go, you're releasing someone who's very toxic. That's a karmic. So it's like whoever this karmic energy or karmic energies, okay? They was trying to, you know, they didn't want you to release. They didn't want you to let go. They didn't want something to change. They didn't want something to end, okay? Give me a card on the hermit. So we have um, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, and Virgo energy out here. What's the hermit? Spirit said, don't settle for less than you deserve. And I feel like you're not. And somebody wants you to. What's the hermit? The hermit is clarified with the moon. I feel like whatever was hidden, you went within and you found out the truth. You found out the truth. That something was just an illusion. You was never stuck. You was never stuck. If anything, you was the only one standing in your own way. Because this person never had any power over you at all. They just wanted you to believe that they did. <laughs> yeah, and now they're in regret. Somebody's in regret. Give me a card on the moon card. The moon. The moon. The moon is clarified with the Six of Cups. <laughs> Whoever this person is from your past or that you share past life um, connection with, you're realizing that whatever these secrets, whatever these secrets, whatever was hidden from you, somebody is realizing it was an illusion. It was not real. You had a fool card. Now somebody is able to free themselves. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This is, man, you're about to be gifted, Okay. Um, you about to get a lot of, you about to be gifted, you about to get justice, things about to be balanced in your life. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. Okay, these are rewards, accolades from the divine. Okay, this is someone who's coming in that's going to give you equal give and take, nine of cups. Yes, nine of cups. You getting your wishes fulfilled. Equal give and take, equal give and take. But this all came from you freeing yourself. Nine of wands. You could be seeing nine nines, a lot of nines. But like I said, this was you closing out a cycle and no longer giving to whoever that person was. You're not giving your time, your energy, your money, your resources, anything to that person anymore. Whoever they are, you're closing that cycle out. And five of swords, okay, whoever this person is. Mm -mm. That caused you conflict, could be hostile, was you know, could have been hostile towards you. Hmm. I just I, I, I feel like they was very manipulative, Sunseeds. They were not someone that you can trust at all. Yeah. 
this person could have even been a bully towards you. And I feel like with this fool card, it, it's giving me someone is just choosing their ba they battles wisely. You don't want to. You don't want to go back and forth with this person. It's just it's, it's pointless. Nor do you want to give to the situation. And whoever this person is, I feel like the real reason why they stand is because with the five of swords to the six of pentacles is that they're going to experience some type of financial loss. It's like losing you. You was the gift. Gift to the distant horizon. It's like you distance yourself from them. It's like the abundance, the gift, the bag is gone. They about to experience some financial loss. You was a gift from the divine with this ascended masses. You was a gift to the divine to this person. And they didn't appreciate you, sunseeds. Mm-mm. Yeah. It's like... When it came to this, whatever they thought was love, it was just like, it was nothing but adversity. It was nothing but conflict. Yeah, temperance to the two of cups. Now you look at this. Now you're about to go into a union that's very balanced. Okay. I love that for you. Very temperate, very balanced, very peaceful. And somebody is in their head about it. Y'all. Yep. They in their head about it. With the Queen of Swords, yeah, they was, they got the they got the truth and clarity. <laughs> they got the truth and clarity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Man, Sunsteeds, I feel like right now you you know you someone who's very grounded and just I feel like you're nurturing on yourself. You nurturing on yourself, grounded and nurturing on you. And you also is able not only to nurture on yourself, but nurture on the people that's around you. And with the emperor to the to the devil, I feel like you was once upon a time doing that to a narcissist. This is a narcissist. The devil to the the um, emperor. Somebody was power hungry. Somebody wanted control. They was obsessed with having control and and power over someone. Yeah, pages towards. And this person watching you and spying on you to see what's next for you. Yeah, to see what's next for you. Ace of Pentacles, the sun to the Ace of Swords. <laughs> new, new, that's what's next for you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Four Swords, something that's is coming to a rest. I feel like you could be resting a lot yeah, because if you feel like you've been sleeping a lot or um, maybe, you you know, you, you've been meditating a lot, it's, it's because you're getting prepared for a new cycle. Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. Yeah, to the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're about to make whatever this um, this step is, whatever this, whatever this, this step is, whatever this, um, this move you're about to make, it's like you're going to need all the rest that you... <laughs> You got to do all your best. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ace of Swords, Fierce, and that's a dare true. You're going to need all your rest, baby. <laughs> yeah, you about to go into something very beautiful. <clears throat> and with the moon card to the Six of Cups, I feel like whoever this person is, um, they're reminiscing about you. Mm-hmm. They could be hiding this, that how much they remin reminiscing, how much they want to reconcile with you, okay? <clears throat> Hoping that a cycle is not closed out, but it is. Yeah, the tower, divine intervention. Yeah, five of wands. Whoever this person that was causing drama, conflict, um... If anyone was competing with you, all of that is changing. All of that is changing. Divine is stepping in, okay? What's the gratitude, Holy Spirit? Gratitude is clarified with the Three of Pentacles and the King of Swords. 
I feel like you're about to go into union with someone who's very truthful, someone who's very honest, someone who's straightforward, someone who ain't gonna play no games. Okay. Um, I also feel like with the one eleven on being on this card with the three of pentacles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, um, how you say it? Like whatever you thinking about is manifesting quickly. Okay. So be mindful of um, watching what you think, you know, uh, what you're thinking about at this time. Make sure you um thinking about only the things that you want and not the things that you don't want, Sunseeds. Okay? Uh, listen to your gut and your heart about a situation. Yeah, I feel like you are because I, I feel like with the King of Swords, you see the truth, the death card. You see the truth about somebody who you used to work with, who you was close with. Um, who you collab with, you realize that this person was cold, they was detached, they was very shady, and you, nah, yeah, you just like, nah, mm-mm. Seven of Wands to the Three of Cups, I feel like you standing your ground when it comes to reconciliation with this person, to the Five of Swords, yeah, I, I definitely feel like somebody is choosing their battles wildly because you just walking away from this person. It's like, it's no win with this person. You don't, you don't want to give to this person anymore because what they showed you before in the past. You don't believe that this person even changed. What's the King of Swords? King of Swords. I feel like this person going to come in and say that they changed Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like you just real grounded at this time, nurturing yourself. Um... Also, it could be nurturing, you know, the people around you as well. <clears throat> Somebody could be a regret by holding back from you. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, to the King of Cups. I can't make it up. You know, taking a time and slow, you know, to show you love, show you affection. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Give me a call on the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could have been married and decided to cut somebody out. Cutting someone off, completely off. Yeah, look at this. I know that's right. Queen of Pentacles was clarified with the Ten of Pentacles to the Shrimp card. You're very confident, okay? You know where you're going. You know where you're going. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know where you're going. Sudden wealth, great fortune. I know that's right. Infinite abundance. Okay? Somebody is in so much regret for being so cold and detached and wishing that they would have worked with you, been more grateful for you. Um, you know, somebody really, really knows that you guys are not getting back together. They know that. It's like now that you're not dealing with this person no more, this person is just wishing like, damn, I wish I would have just, you know, just been more grateful, you know? Damn. And then they watching you with the page of swords be so grounded. Like I said, not only taking care of yourself, but taking, you know, grounded to what, you know, not only nurturing to yourself, but nurturing to anything that's attached to you. The Ten of Pentacles to the Shrimp card, that's legacy. That's building a legacy. The Shrimp card, this is somebody who has self-love, confidence, the willpower, who's strong, brave. Somebody is hurt. Because they know that you're not getting back with them. They know you're moving on. You're destined for greatness. Three of Swords to the Queen of Cups. To the cups. Mm, mm, mm. This is happy family. Happy, happy, <laughs> happy family love. Somebody knows you don't do drama. They knew that, but they, with the devil to the emperor, they, they was a narcissist. They, they wanted power. They wanted to control you, dominate you. They, they, they did. And you so caring and nurturing. You didn't even have to do that to the, to, to someone like you. But that's because this person wants power over you. 
When it comes to your career, you're going to be satisfied. A lot of success, a lot of harmony, a lot of security, a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity. Somebody feels like they really screwed up. I feel like whoever you're going into union with, you're going to be surrounded by love. Okay? When it comes to the family that you're going to build with this person and the community, you guys are going to get a lot of love and respect. Mm. Can I have a card on the shrimp? The shrimp of Holy Spirit. Thank you. The Ten of Swords. Something is over with. This is you walking away, having the strength and courage to walk away and end and close the cycle out. And the Ten of Swords fell out in the Empress. This is you knowing who you are. Somebody also could be in, in a lot of tears. Somebody had a whole Empress. A whole Empress. Every queen in the day. And if you wasn't married to this person, you could have been spiritually married to this person or just in, you know, um, just in a connection with this, a relationship with this person. But whoever this king of swords is, they know they're behind. They, they get cut off. They know that. Okay? And that's why they, they wishing that they would have been more grateful and appreciative of you. You didn't deserve that. That's why the divine had to step in with the tower. Let me get a card on the tower, Holy Spirit. The tower was clarified with the King of Pentacles. Somebody could have definitely been married. What's the King of Pentacles? Yeah. Four cups. This person missed out on an opportunity. Somebody could be also, if you weren't married to this person, this person is wishing that they would have married you. Thank you, Spirit. This person wishing that they would have married you. Mm-hmm. Somebody is wishing that they would have married you. Ooh, child. I'm telling you. They know they missed out on the opportunity. The King of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. And that's the damn truth, Spirit said. The damn truth. <sighs> yeah, this person is out in the cold. Hardship, lack. This person also going to experience some type of financial loss for what they did to you. What's the acceptance, Holy Spirit? Acceptance. Acceptance is the King of Wands. This is this is you taking action. Yeah, this is you taking action on whatever this leadership role is. It's like somebody is being um I heard like nominated for like okay, so you could have a whatever your job is, you being you're gonna be a leader or somebody, you know, you're being presented with like a higher position. It says accept this. I am learning to accept that thing. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yeah, you leaving whatever's in the behind in the past in the past. Okay. The King of Wands is a leader, someone who takes action. Ace of Pentacles. Give me more, Holy Spirit, acceptance, King of Wands. I feel like, yeah, Nine of Wands. Somebody could be feeling burnt out and burdened. Now, somebody could have been trying to attack you. <clears throat> somebody could have been trying to attack you. What's the nine of wands? The emperor. Yeah, the death card. Whoever this person is, I don't listen.
Yeah, the justice card. Thank you, Spirit. You about to get justice, though. Things about to be balanced out. Now, this could be um. Whoever this person is that that wishes that they would have given you an offer, okay? Somebody could be feeling weighed down and burdened. Maybe they're projecting the energy onto you. Um, whoever this person is, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Somebody don't want something to change, and they could possibly be attacking you. What's a death card? What's a death card? Nine of Pentacles. Because you're releasing them and you want to be single. You're independent. High priestess. Okay. The lovers. Ace of Pentacles. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's like... Whoever this person is, okay, they could be feeling way down, right? They could be having a hard time accepting things for what it is, okay? You letting them go. You making a choice to go a whole nother way, which, and now you're being granted a whole new opportunity, okay? And I feel like you let your intuition guide you, uh, um, you know, during this process. Um, you decided to focus on your independence. You want to be single. You don't want to be in a relationship. You want to be single. You want to let go. You allowing this transformation to go down the way it's going to go down. You're not resisting the change. You're allowing it to happen. Because if you resist the change, it's only going to be harder. Okay? You're getting justice. Okay? Somebody else who feeling like they should have took an action or or did something things differently or or whatever they trying to trying to change something but they can't come in there. you can't listen what's the what's the high priestess yeah temperance things are being balanced out you're about to have peace because somebody was trying to disturb your peace the magician what's the magician yeah, two of wands. I feel like you manifested this this beginning. Okay? Whatever this whatever this this move that you make in, whatever this choice or decision you made, you manifested this. And now it's here. And somebody trying to get in between that by holding on to you. Because they don't want you to distance yourself. <clears throat> somebody knows that there's a gift is being granted to you. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, four pinnacles. Whoever this person is, they're trying to hold on to you. Yeah. And this person could be projecting the energy towards your way. Page of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me, Sunsi. Mm -mm. Whoever this person is that got their hands in the cloud, that want to come and apologize. Okay. They see you as very innocent. This person could be dreaming about you. But, um, I, yeah, they could be dreaming about you. Page of Cups to the Four Swords, I can't make it up. Four Pinnacles, this person is trying to hold on to you. Give me a card on this, another card on the King of Wands. Yeah, the Five of Cups to the Queen of Swords. You see the truth, and you got the, you see the truth and clarity about this person. Because I did see the Queen of Wands earlier. Maybe somebody, it's like somebody could have been trying to have you around for just passion and lust. Okay? Because we did see the Queen of Wands earlier. And here's the King of Wands. This person was supposed to be a leader. They were supposed to step up. They were supposed to take advantage of this opportunity that Devon was giving them, which was you. They were supposed to step up. They were supposed to do that. But they didn't do that. They didn't do right by you. So Spirit is like, all right, so you didn't do right by my gift. I'm going to take it away. I just heard somebody thought you was too good to be true. Somebody somebody was running over passion and lust. Okay? They were. And they missed out on the opportunity. Somebody even wished that they would have married you. The, the, the tower was clear for with the King of Pentacles to the Four of Cups. Somebody felt like they missed out on the opportunity. Somebody was only thinking, well, what they, you know, with the wands and stuff. 
And now they're trying to hold on to you energetically because you you moving on. The Queen of Swords sees the truth. It has the truth and clarity. Also, someone who's very wise. Okay? They you you see that it's something you wasting your time here. It's nothing that is not gonna go anywhere. So that's what a divine step is. It's like you call judge me. Yes, I can't make it up. Ace of Swords, baby, saying that's the truth. Oh, uh -uh. this person. It's like somebody just they 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 really they really I'm not even going front. They really regret regretful. They really feeling a lot of remorse. They in despair because they wishing that they would have stepped up, okay, and did things differently. You know, but they didn't. They was operating more out of their shadow side. They were. Somebody felt like you was too good to be true. You know, you couldn't possibly be who the divine said you was. Somebody kept trying to repaint you or make you as something that you weren't. Dang. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was it was like passion. Passion to the Queen of Cups. Somebody who coming off loving and caring and nurturing. And you try to, I, 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 I want to just, I want to have, I want to have a lot of, I got a lot of pain. I want to, I want to dog them down. I want to like, you're supposed to love on someone like that. But they regret holding back that love from you. Because they, what they was, was cold, detached, controlling, mean, wanted power over you. I don't know who the hell y'all was dealing with. Give me a card on the lovers, Holy Spirit. The lovers. Yes, yeah, two of pinnacles in reverse. Okay, things are coming into balance. Okay, things are coming into balance. Because there was definitely an imbalance dealing with whoever the hell that person was. Was the two of pinnacles? And I feel like that's why you decided to be single. Two of pinnacles. Yeah, six of wands to the five of swords. Somebody thought that they was going to have some type of victory, success over you, being manipulative and, and, and being, you know, nasty. Like, no. You walk the hell away as you should. So, see? Five of swords. Five of swords. This person is being cut out. Yeah, six of pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Energy, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not giving to this person. You keep, you not, uh-uh. Yeah, I don't feel like you're investing no more into this person. I'm telling you, you call judgment. You definitely call judgment. And now this person wants to apologize to you. And that's the truth. But you don't trust this person. Yeah. Only reason why they want to apologize and come in is because they feel defeated. This person is definitely under judgment. It's like now they're awakening to who you are. But Spirit is saying it's too late. Five of Pentacles. Y'all, Five of Pentacles. This person is out in the cold. Six of Swords. And this is you moving away to karma waters. You being guided. Yeah. Ace of Wands, you're about to get a whole new passion in the beginning. Three of Wands, and all your hard work and efforts is definitely is about to come into fruition. Period. Mm hmm. I feel like you have the confidence. The foresight to look ahead and you looking towards new new. And you trusting in your gut and your intuition at this time. And I feel like you're about to see your results. You're about to see results when it comes to your love life and your career. Three of Wands to the Ace of Wands. You're about to go into a commitment, a relationship with someone. 
and this person could be at a distance from you. Yeah, eight of wands to the pink. I'm telling you, Knight of Cups. I'm telling you. This person could be at a distance. You can meet this person while you're traveling. You can meet this person online. But this is somebody who's not in whatever area that you at. You're going to meet this person. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Eight, eight. I feel like whoever this person that you're going into union with is going to be a lot of progress and gain here. Yep. The fool card. You freed yourself from any burden. Yeah. Two of cups. I'm telling you. Two of cups to the higher brain. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. The same. I'm telling you. What you don't see, somebody's about to go into union. You don't see this. Two of swords, the higher brain, the two of cups. To the four ones. I can't make this up since these that I won't ever will. You're about to go into a commitment, a relationship, a marriage. And somebody from your past who who, who didn't do right for you, they, they really feeling it. They, they really feeling it hard, heavy. You went through some type of powerful ascension. Okay? And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And now you're being gifted. What a brand new opportunity. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Before we close this out for my beautiful collective sun keys. You about to enter a new phase. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is something that you don't see. It's so powerful. It's, just, it's, it's all being orchestrated by the divine. I feel like all you got to do right now <laughs> is just like sit still. Don't even think about it. Just know that everything is being in, is being, is in the works right now. It's, okay? A high friend and a high priest is about to go into a commitment. Mm -hmm. It's about to go down on site. Yes. You're meant to be with this person. You're going to create a set of pentacles together. Mm, I know that's right. Legacy. So don't think everything that you've been through, it went unnoticed. Mm -mm, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. <laughs> No, it didn't, sussy. Look at my sussies. No, it didn't. When I told y'all what y'all was about to get. Then I tell y'all, when it comes to love and happiness, all of that, success, what that part said? Success and happiness. You about to get it all. Spirit said, just sit still. We got this. Don't be doubting it. Don't be worried about none of that. We got this. <laughs> success and happiness. Oh, yeah, surrender. That's all you got to do, baby. Surrender. We got this. The abundance and everything is yours. It's all yours. Here you go. Congratulations, I see. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need to worry when tonight is going to bring. <laughs> Yeah, clear yourself. Mm -hmm. Ask the angels. Ask the angels to release any types of energies that you may have absorbed, and that's from that past person. And I feel like this person is. I felt earlier this person could have been attacking you because you was leaving. But spirit said, clear yourself. Okay, make sure you constantly, you know, you cleanse your energy. This person know they're going to get karma for what they did to, yeah, a goddess. I knew it. When I see all Andrew Michaels, because he coming out because somebody doing some something foul. Something foul. And he got to step in and protect you. Yeah, shield yourself. Go to peace. You got to give peace. All that peace and love. 
After releasing all this negative energy, this person want to come and attack you when they ain't do right by you or because you left. What the hell? What, 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 I mean, this, what, this person wants you to keep repeating patterns with them. Yes, yeah, very the same. Be willing to forgive. Forgive this person, son. See, he's not for them, but for you. Okay? Soda plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take the charge and take charge of your life in positive ways. Yes. Yes. And that's what it was. This person didn't want you to feel like you can be powerful, Sun Seeds. The, the, what, um, the Soul of Flex and Chakra, this speaks about self-esteem, pleasure, um, willpower. And we see the strength card. You have that willpower. You know? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know, whatever your personal responsibility is and your self-esteem and and what you know, you you it is safe for you to be powerful. It, it, it's safe for you to take charge of your life in positive ways. Somebody was trying to mess with your self esteem to make you feel like you couldn't get nothing better than them. Cause I heard earlier like somebody it was like a battle, and I feel like whoever your new person is, they probably be, you know wondering like you like like where my new person coming in? You know, I, I know the divine said I'm I'm getting this gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous woman or this handsome man, like what, what's going on? Like what, what's the hold up? Because somebody got somebody that's still trying to hold on to them energetically, okay, and trying to fight the new person that the new person don't even know who the hell this person is. Cause somebody feel like they could love you better, they could they they could do right by you this time. Nobody can love in a way you listen. If anybody can can't if, if nobody can love you the way they did, you would rather be single because you don't want what, what they call love. Okay, <laughs> not at all. I feel like whoever your new person is gonna kick somebody. <laughs> and, and I listen. And it don't gotta be physically. I'm talking about energetically. Like listen, you gotta go, bro, or sis, you got to go. Okay, when you had them, you ain't appreciate them. Your time is up. You got to go. <laughs> Visualize success. Yes, integrity. You about to get somebody with a whole lot of integrity, and this person is just as successful as you. Yeah, embrace this change. Okay, if you feel lonely now, you won't be lonely too long. Okay. Yeah, back them away, fear, crown chakra, and courage. Yeah, listen to your intuitive feelings. Yeah, you are a powerful light worker, twin flame, those chakra. I'm telling you, somebody about to speak up and let you know. It's you for me. Judgment and relationship. This is this giving me like spiritual court is in session. You ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't gotta do nothing but just do what you do on your regular day, okay? And, and make sure you cleanse it yourself. Okay, somebody's mad as hell because you have ascended and y'all just you y'all just don't y'all don't even on the same frequency anymore. Okay, and somebody's still trying to hold on to you because they ain't regret. Okay, and because you decided to release them, so this person think they could come in and try to attack you? Hell no! Send you all this negative energy. Like if that's gonna be a way for you to want to be with them even more? Come on! I don't know what the hell y'all was dealing with something. Ooh, yeah. But that is over with. I love you guys so very much. If somebody's about to come in here, come in and that's going to be there for you in the right way. Okay? The right way. Not somebody who gives you trauma and all of these issues with. It's just, oh. So, Steve, I love you guys so very much. Yeah, look at this deck over here. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah. You've been working on yourself, mastering yourself. Okay, whatever you do, you're very skilled. Yeah, you're proving your hard work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're about to get a breakthrough. Ooh, I heard this new person going to see you as a diamond. <laughs> I'm hearing they see that shine on you. Mm-hmm. Somebody going to see you. They going to... I heard a diamond. I know that's right. Let me get off this energy. Let me see anything else. This is beautiful. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? 
Yeah, look what car fell out on the floor. Look what car fell out on the floor. Let me get this out. <laughs> Look, guided and intervention. And I was going to get the message of love article. It says intervention. Expect a miracle. Divine intervention is pushing the two of you together. I told you divine intervention is coming in. Guided. My spirit guides are helping assist in this divine connection. New insight. I'm telling you. Somebody is trying to get in between the divine intervention. Mm. Somebody else who somebody else wanted to hide you like in the shadows. No, spirit said you a diamond. You're supposed to be seen. Hmm. Let me get out of this energy, so I see. I guess that was enough. Them two cards fell on the floor. I love you guys so very much. And so we get up next time, so I see. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Later, Sunseeds. <laughs>